too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Sweet. We'll do that and also try and take care of one of... Oh, I'll do that. I'll do that off camera. Um, world map. One of the professor's assignments. Oh, yeah. It's just, it's just a little north of here, you know, just 260 miles. Jesus. So very close. Also, I love that some of these flu flame spots are literally in somebody's house. Like, you're not, you're not mad about that, like, at all. Okay, re reset those spells. Reset those spells. Reset those spells. Wait, that's how I usually do it. If I betray my muscle memory this late in the game, I'm absolutely screwed. Legendary foe. Okay, kids. Okay, kids. Hold on. Hold on with me here for like one, one second. Just like, just believe in me. One minute, one minute, one minute. Where, where are you? Well, first of all, this is the smart choice. Where is this legendary foe? Uh, are you down there? Is it a troll? It's probably some kind of stupid troll. Potato. For the 15th time. Troll fight. Or... <laughs> I got all confused, and then I got scared, and then I, and then I settled into it a little bit. I was just a little drunk. It's you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on that excursion, considering it really, really did not seem to Whoa! Whoa, buddy! Whoa, 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 whoa! 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 Whoa, wait a minute! I didn't realize! I didn't restock! Everybody get on the broom! Larry, get out of here! I didn't realize. I didn't sit and brew potions. I meant to do that in between. See if there's something I said we will need. suffer the consequence of our actions. Thank you for your pizza. Buy them. You got a broom. But I don't care. That's Is it bad? Been a pleasure. Let's just go find these little guys. I just want to rescue them what we're here for. Wait, is this even the right spot, or did I go... That's a quest. I don't want to do that. I want to rescue... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right there, it's right there. No, screw you, frogs. Yes. Stupid ass. Ass ass frogs. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of you guys. Not my sneaky sneak. And I go over, no, freeze, and then freeze, and then I think they did the best they could with this wheel. It's just very, very difficult to like plan this stuff out sometimes. Come here, boy. Come on. My goodness. 
I'm not going to hurt you. Is there something that makes that way easier? It probably is. Are they gonna come back? Nope. Nope. I need a girly. Nope. Is this just where all the boys are hanging out? No. Okay, good. No, son of a bitch. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. And now we go to Hogsby. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Now we gotta spend our hard earned money. I don't wanna spend my hard earned money. I wanna hoard it forever. And leave it to nobody when I die. Out of spite. I do love the changing of the season, so especially because it gives me an excuse to like actually wear different outfits. And I know that that may sound silly, but take your I time love it. looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like okay. yours. What other kind of cool? Now we can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Oh, Best God. get back to deep with the. Thestrals. I'm gonna spend all of my freaking money. I want one of these. I want the T-shaped like for my room. Just the right thing. So we're gonna do it, and I will do again all that. I will do some of that stuff just off camera because it really doesn't matter greatly. Um, not a hundred percent sure where to find these, and I guess I could look it up. But then I get one of my missing spells, because then I'll do the Sebastian thing. Okay, okay, okay. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Get over here. We get in. Then we get in the Hogwarts map. Here we go. Yeah. Boom. Bada bing. Bada boom. Hey Deke. Hey Deke. I did a thing. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure that pen. Oh, okay. I was like... I think that neither of my two vivariums are going to be the proper choice. They'll give me a third. <laughs> Did you think you didn't have enough stuff to customize and to waste your time on? Well, welcome to a third vivarium. It's a womp swamp. It, there is See, an S never grows it. tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. No. Once I've bred them, calm it, calm it down, Deke. Okay. We might as well go fix this other one. Give me the curse. Okay. No, we gotta make, we gotta make some stuff. No, we're just gonna conjure the breeding pen. I will customize and make this. A spoopy whoopy place in a minute. We'll, we'll put out everything. We'll put out everything for them. You guys can feed with a view. And we'll put your toys right over here. Gotta make sure that everybody's got the toys. Let's be 
he's currently occupied my ass. And now we explore. Give me a moonstone. Give me more moonstone. looking for. They always hide in each of these for anybody that hasn't completely outpaced me and just completely and utterly beaten the game already. Well, let's, um, let's, let's release them. That, um, they hide some of the conjuration items and the variums, which I think is really cool and encourages you to actually look around in them. And I do like the theming, because, like, when I got the first one, when I had kind of been avoiding looking at other stuff for the game, I was worried. I was like, oh, this doesn't seem big enough, and it's kind of a forest, and I wanted to theme things a little bit so it looks like that they really wanted to encourage you to do that which is totally great there was really you know and I know that they had the budget behind it but there really was I think a lot of people that cared working on this and wanted to make it a fun and enjoyable experience for as many people as possible which is always the danger it's the the gift and the danger of um triple games right is that you can do a lot of stuff because you have the budget which means you sometimes have the time but then also a lot of the time that time can get taken away from you because of a producer or it's the same stuff that happens with movies that ruins them right like producers come out of the woodwork and they're like I'm not making my money back fast enough even though that they have more money than God and they don't really need to be making more money a lot of the time. Smaller smaller indie films, when I say producer, I don't mean somebody going out and putting twenty to thirty to eighty thousand dollars on the line of really small time like essentially everyone in the movie tossing in money and stuff. I mean when like Sony comes in or like Hasbro or Mattel that got involved in the Spider Man movies comes in or I can't remember if it was exactly them, but with Avi Arad, um, when, when they come in and they have, you know, in their own personal bank accounts, some of those individuals have multiple millions of dollars and they're absolutely fine. But they still complain about, oh, you're not making money back fast enough and blah 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 it's it's dumb and it's it's based on greed and you should want to get your investment back but at the same time I don't know I get frustrated it's because I'm broke I'm poor so I'm frustrated it's gonna take 30 minutes we gotta do other stuff guys we can't I can't wait in here and watch you breed for 30 minutes so I guess I just have to wait. Ooh, Deke. Your stuff, your stuff is all not arranged properly anymore. No, this is supposed to be a room divider for him. Tiny, tiny room divider. So that he can have his own private space. I want Deke to have his own private space. That was the whole point. This is going to be his bedroom if I ever get some kind of a bed. I know, this is vastly exciting for everybody, but I am enjoying myself immensely. What am I moving? Oh no. That's right, Larry. Flips and shit. I think Deke very much enjoys little statues of creatures. I do, I do. I think that he very much enjoys it. 
In fact, we'll give him more. This is what we're doing with part of our 30 minutes of freaking waiting. I should be doing so many other things. Statues. We'll give him a Thestral statue. Teeny tiny. Teeny tiny, please. No, smaller? Or are they just... Are these just gigantic? I like that the Niffler one was like itty bitty. Why so big? Why so big? Too big. Does this one get to be very, very small? Yeah, there we go. Great. Okay, now we're gonna go. Because I can't, I can't finish the quest with you yet, right? Because there's still. Okay, in which case, can I do... Will you... Yeah, I want to locate some stuff on the map. Can you show me? Oh, great! What? Giant purple toad den. Okay, great. Cool. Will... No. No waypoint. Just go. <laughs> I can't remember what any buttons do. We're gonna catch these toads. Then I'm gonna put them in a swamp too. No, I want to acquire a giant purple toad. And uh, where you at? Where you at, giant purple toad? Let me check my map. Let me check my map. If I turn slightly this way, correct. I know that it's like pointing that way, but it's here on the mini map. Why you no show me? Why you no show me this stuff? I don't care about any of that. No, 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 no. Why am I gonna have to? I don't wanna have to. Wait, are you. Are you mad? And I have to rescue you? Or are you just a jackass? Levioso. Expelliarmus. Accio. Incendio. I'm just gonna Defendo. throw spells. Defendo. Glacius. Curse. Take a curse. Larry Defendo. is gonna have no qualms with his curses. He's gotta do what he's gotta do. Accio. Incendio. I'm so bad. I'm so bad at this game. Let's be very, very real. No, 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 no. You... I want nothing to do with you. I want nothing to do with you. Please stop. I'm just gonna cheese you. I'm gonna cheese you. Right here, you sack. Or not. Die. I don't care if it's a waste. I didn't think it was a waste. We're out in the field. Let's go get these frog and frogs. Caribbit. That's a sentient cribbage board that hops like a frog. Are you... Where in the living hell? See, giant purple toad. There we go. Give me. Give me. Give me. Professor Howard will never believe this. I think that actually she will because she wanted you to do it. Come here. Great. Now we got two. Now we need Everything's to go. All right now. I don't know if I have a male and a female, but I keep forgetting that I have that dodge if I just like hold on a little bit longer than normal. Mm. 
my bed. Acquire dire claw. Okay, so there's got to be. Yeah, there's a, there. There be a den. There be a den. I invented blue powder. Yep. Me and the entirety of the internet know all about it. Why are you so hard to kill? Expelliarmus. Incendio. Accio. Leviosa. Die so I can get my dum dum birds. Jackass. Now they ran away. They were all coming back. What what breed was the other one? I think it was a female plus. Lots of female pluses around here. That's great. All like shiny and stuff. But, like, what if one of you was a boy? Like, just a man. Oh. Where'd you come from? Yeah, but imagine if you were a boy. Just a small lad. Living in the world. The harsh, harsh world. Then we're gonna go learn a spell, and then by then, the freaking Vestrals should have bred. Put my giant toads in there. Hello? Apparently, no boys live here. Well, that's sad. That's a sad, sad, lonely life. Wouldn't it be? Three of ya. Well, fine. I guess I'll leave. And go back to Hogwarts. No. No waypoint. Uh, diggy 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 diggy. No, that's for Sebastian. God, their eyes. I know that, like, in theory, that design's supposed to be cute, but we, A, all know exactly what that looks like, and then to give it bug eyes like that is horrifying. We should get some nifflers. Just because they're cute. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Thank you. I take it you're ready to learn. I am. I completed your assignment, Professor. Teach me how to blow stuff I'm up. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. Yeah, I don't the even know any uh, curses. Why would you ask, Professor? Can hurt people. Use Other spells, I mean, that should it. only be used at certain times. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Yep. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go Speak ahead. Speak for yourself. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Sweet. Well done. Now, let us put it in... Yeah, let us put it to the test. Let's put it. We'll do. And actually, what we'll actually probably do is instead of... Yeah, because I'm real sick of... I don't deal well with that range being so... Shall we? Shitty. Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Try it on the pumpkins? You're a crazy person. Excellent one work. Just like that yeah. every time. Sweet. Assured and in control. Let's see if it's no, 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 no. 
We'll go here. Yeah, let's see if let's see if that stuff's ready. I feel like it's not. But that's okay. We'll release our purple toads into here. We'll do a little bit of maintenance. Giant purple toad. Giant purple toad. Ready in 18 minutes. Dear sweet God. We're going to do some decorating by George. After we release our other ones in this varium that I've made into a home away from home. I do really, really like this one. He's one of my favorites. Well, yeah, I do have nifflers. I like how I was like, I should do that. Oh, there's too many species in here. I hit my species limit? That's okay. You guys are nice and happy in your little spot. We'll go to the other vivarium. Oh, man. Hi, Deke. Bye, Deke. You'll be my first one. You'll be my first one in here. Have a great time, little one. Have a great time. Enjoy. Do, 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 do. We'll go mess through the rest of my room. So you're actually going to get to see some decorating. Mostly. I just want to do. There's nothing on that side. You. Nope. Not what I meant either. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I'm making a complete and utter jackknot out of myself. Okay. I'm gonna do some stuff. I'm gonna pause this recording while I wait the whatever many minutes to get that done, but I'll be back to close out the episode. But you won't have any idea. Okay. Okay. Finally, time is up. I did a little bit of decorating. I did a little bit more exploring. And now we've got just a little baby guy. Just a little baby one. A little baby girl. She's doing great. You're doing great. Okay, let's see. Let's finish this up with Deke. Close out yet another successful episode. Deke. Where you at, buddy? Could you remind me what I'm to do with the Thestrals, Deke? <laughs> Release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. I did. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I am? I probably have to set the quest as active. Ah, I should have done that before I turned the camera back on! My bad! Um, I did it. Groom and feed the... Oh. What if I don't want to? What if I want them to be strong and independent and do their own shit? Just an excuse about me being a bad pet parent. Ah, uh, where you at? Little guy. Little girly. Where you at, little girly? Hey, little girly. Get groomed. Get groomed. Get groomed. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Give me your stuff. Okay, thanks. We're gonna reset all this stuff just to be ready to go for the next one. Uh... Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, 
the rarest of all beasts that Master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Okay. Well, and with that sad story, then I'm sure we'll probably get wrapped up in a different side quest. Uh, if there's anybody out there watching or listening, thank you for being here. I'm really glad that you're here, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.